Hi, welcome to Von Gillette's YouTube channel. Today we'll be covering the treatments for dysfunctional scapula and or humerus. In this video, we're covering the third row in which we have a scapula which is greater than three inches away from the spine. We'll also have a humerus which is externally rotated and despite a pencil test which has the pencil or pens pointing forward, it actually means our shoulder is externally rotated and we need to correct that. Our first correction is gonna be adducting the scapula or retracting the scapula. And one of my favorites is just going prone on the floor and then squeezing the shoulder blades together in an arms overhead position. The other alternative that you can do is a row, but I do recommend using a hold at the end range of motion at least for a couple of seconds to help create that alignment change that we want with the scapula. We also need to correct the externally rotated position of the shoulder, and we can do this with internal rotations. And one of my favorites is doing subscapularis rotations. And the goal for this exercise is to make sure that I'm using a full range of motion, but I'm not having my shoulder go too far forward. I should be getting pure rotation through that shoulder joint. You don't need to use a ton of weight for this, uh, but this is a great way to strengthen uh, one of your rotator cuff muscles, subscapularis. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. Thank you.